Cane versus knife. Who will win? Let's find out. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. You should never get in a fight, especially with someone against a knife. Uh, it doesn't take 30 stabs <laughs> for a knife to be fatal. One little nick or slash can very quickly end things. Uh, you're talking millimetres of depth as well. It's very dangerous. So most times if someone has a knife out and they're showing you, it's a threat. They're trying to rob you. And my suggestion is, just give them what they want, okay? I'd like to think my life is worth more than £20, so that's what I'm going to give you. Fair enough. We have a friend called Gary Hernandez. He has a trick where he has a fake wallet, doesn't he? Yeah. And he just hands it over and walks away. That is the best thing you can do. Get out of there. Yeah, absolutely. But this is a situation where maybe he's pulled the knife out and he's starting to get a bit more aggressive. Uh, yeah. And probably a lot of swearing and shouting yeah, to Yeah, probably he's very nervous. Or he might be on something. And you realise that this might be a time when you need to defend yourself. So we've got three very basic moves that I think are incredibly effective and this would be the time I would use these. The first thing I would do, I see the knife, is take a step back immediately. I'd have my croak facing forward and I would just basically swing. It's not a very fancy technique, but it is probably the most reliable and incredibly easy. Uh, you can try your best, Chris, to come forward. I wouldn't want to. If you do, I can crack anywhere along the leg, the knee, Ow. the hip bone, the ribs, uh, the elbow, <laughs> the arm, the wrist, if I hit the knife, fine, but so if you if you've seen our cane versus bone video. Ready? Yeah. know that the cane does a lot of damage and hitting him once with this big swing is going to be in, probably enough to end the fight there. Yeah. Second technique is a classic, we all have done this, as soon as we pick up the cane, is the figure of eight. Would you like to try and hit me with a knife? You can go faster if you want to. Approach, more likely you want to step away. We've done a lot of videos with the figure of eight. It's one of our first videos we've done. We've also done moving with the figure of eight and also just recently following on from the figure of eight. So that's a new hit. What do you do after that? Pretty good technique. I would, the only thing I would say about this is it's quite difficult to move around as well with the figure of eight. I think we've all hit ourselves in the shins trying to move around with the figure of eight. As you can tell, it's starting to rain now. But our last technique, it's a bit more fancy. Take a step back. We call this the helicopter. <laughs> and it's very intimidating, as Chris could probably say. Yeah. And then what's really worse is, you step in and do the strike, at yeah. which point I'm... So if you won't, just step back a little bit. Yeah. One of the great things about these techniques is they flow really well together. So you can start doing a figure of eight, then change to the helicopter, then come down to swings. You can move around. If you're not too confident with turning with the figure of eight, you can just pause, swing, back here, forward. Uh, so they link really well together. If you notice as well, uh, I'm only using one hat. This is great because I can now call for help if I ever need it. So these are really good uh, techniques uh, for distance. I think the cane is going to win at this perfect mid-distance pretty much every time. But things change a lot when we're this close. And if somebody's going out to hurt you, they aren't going to show you the knife straight away. 
that's more likely what's going to happen. Uh, so in our second video, we're going to look at well, body language, visual cues. Yeah. Um, because knife disarm number one. There you go. Thanks. Well, I was going to say people uh, how they hide the knife and things like this, so we'll, or in their pockets. So yeah. things to look out for. So it's going to be a little bit of a talky video, a bit in depth, but there's visual cues that can give it away. Yeah. And again, if you can see it, that will win. Yes. But if somebody wants to stab you, beat you with a cane, shoot you, bludgeon you, whatever, they're going to do it. You know, if they've got that mind focus, so you have to be really aware of these things. We keep saying it, but it's true, unfortunately. Thank you for watching. Please appreciate Callum's first video. He's getting more involved. And, well, he normally gives us ideas, but we're trying to get him in front of the camera. But we're just worried that he'll take away all the star shine from us. So. Yeah, that's why I don't. That's why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Please like and comment. It is a very basic beginning of this, but input we would really be appreciated on this subject because, as you know, we're really loath to talk about yes. knife techniques. But unfortunately, especially in the UK, it's becoming more prevalent. Yeah. So again, these are just first techniques, very effective, but... But you've got plenty of visual clues. Plenty of visual clues, yes. <laughs>